This is my January 2019 budget report. And this is probably the smallest month that you guys have seen me have yet. Hi guys, Ashley from Ash Cash Budget here. If you're new to this channel, I'm currently following the Dave Ramsey baby steps. I am on baby step number two, paying off about $42,000 in debt. So if you want to continue to follow me on my journey, click the little red subscribe button down below. I told you guys that this would be a pretty low month and it was, but I didn't have to touch some things. So my first paycheck was $648.09 and my second one was $567.28. Meaning from just my normal job, I got $1,215.37. And basically, I was able to take care of all of my necessities and not have to touch my January sinking fund. My boyfriend's half was $435.79. My side hustles came out to $222.24. So that was all Instacart. I did get one $10 cash tip and a $2 cash tip. And then I actually got four weeks of Instacart. Now, sometimes there's absolutely nothing. Sometimes I work an eight hour shift and I get absolutely nothing. I still want to see if I can do an Instacart like kind of review for you guys because yes, when I do get orders, it's good. But when I don't get orders, it kind of stinks. But this month, um, this whole $222.24 was from Instacart. I would have to go back and see how many hours that I put in. It was anywhere between 10 to like 32 hours each week. So I got 82, 82 the first week, 54, 40 the next week, 22, 30 the week after that. And then for the final week, I got $50.72, which $200 seems pretty decent, but I think for the amount of hours that I was signed up for, it could have been much better. Because I canceled cable finally because of the way that I had to pay through CenturyLink and it was Direct TV. It was a little bit behind so I did get a refund in the form of a Visa card I think. Anyways it was a card that I was able to transfer then to my bank account so that actually went towards the household bills and came off of what my boyfriend and I owed. So I'll go over that a little bit more but the amount that we got back was $234.37. Here in savings, I touched my car maintenance because I did have to pay the difference on my timing belt tensioner. Now it was still under warranty, but I did pay a difference in price between that and I think it's called aftermarket part, but I did pay the difference. Plus they did a couple of tiny little things. So I did pay $159.75. So right now I only have $51.90 in there. And if you watch my budget plan, you'll see that I planned for medical. I went ahead and took that $1,500 I originally had set aside for the lab bill, but it should be getting updated. I'm waiting for the new bill to get come in, but I do have some more lab bills that I'm expecting to come in relatively soon. So even if that's less, I definitely need a lot into my medical. So this $245.83 is actually what I had left over after all of the minimum stuff that I had to take care of for my bills this month. So instead of putting it towards my debt snowball, it went into medical savings. I did pay out some so far. I went to the GI doctor twice, so the co-pays for that was $45. And then by prepaying, it was an ultrasound for my organs. So they offered me a 20% discount from what my copay was going to be. So I did go ahead and pay that up for $112.94. For now, medical is at $1,122.55. Registration, I did not put anything in. I did not spend anything. Same thing with phone. Registration I'll have to do, I think, in March. So if I just have to cash flow the rest of that, that is fine. I think it'll only be $100 max for a two-year registration for my car. Gifts, I did spend a little bit. I think I might have showed you guys this. Um, this is for my best friend for Christmas. Yes, I'm just going to hold on to it because for $2.17, it was the perfect Christmas present. And then while I was walking around Walmart, I found a perfect present for my little sister. 
Her birthday is not until April, but it was $4.33 and it was normally $15. It was like um, a Shopkins type of thing. So definitely got that and I can afford to still get her like another gift on top of that. So that'll be great. And then my grandma's birthday was on the 29th. So I split that birthday gift with my mom and so we spent $15 each so that came out of there so I do still have $19.95 for now and I have not added anything to it and shows I did not add anything to that either because it is a very low income month pretty much everything is getting cut now here at housing I have rent $850 like usual City was actually $109.18. It got pretty cold for a little bit there. Cold for the desert, that is. Electric was $45.63. Cable internet, so this is CenturyLink with just the internet, $55.24. And then I switched to Xfinity because I tried getting a hold of CenturyLink. I asked them again, what is the highest speed you have for my area? And they replied yet again, 1.5 megabits which is ridiculously low so I finally decided to go ahead and switch to Xfinity I didn't really like Comcast just because of having them before but so far it's been great I got 60 megabits and I am I'm just happy to have a better speed and I hope that can help me with YouTube as well just being able to upload stuff and do things a little bit faster on the internet so this month I had started that up, so that was going to be due. It's basically due on the 14th, but so are these. These are due like in the first or second week of the next month, but I include it in the January bills. I get the bill this month and I pay it. That's just because that's the way that it works out best with the bills and the way I get paid. Now, CenturyLink. 5524 that I did go ahead and cancel it and the guy tried to tell me oh no we offer up to 100 megabits in your area I can get you 80 for $45 which would have been before the taxes I know that so it still would have been more than this because I was telling him yeah I got 60 for 45 but you know what after I already tried to get a hold of them and they said 1.5 I was like no just cancel it dude just just cancel it I'm done with you guys I've already switched over I tried to remedy this before, so whatever. So I just canceled it anyway. Um, he's like, oh, you have like 30 days usually to break a contract, but no, I already switched over. So really, this should drop off next month because it's all prepaid. I do have it built into next month just in case, but it should be fine. This should be the last payment I make to CenturyLink. Now, this mount here comes out to $1,105.94. Now that refund I talked about earlier, since both of us paid into those bills, if I subtract that off of here, the 230 something dollars, then I divided that in half and that is where I got my boyfriend's amount. So I did subtract the DirecTV refund from the overall amount first before I divided it in half to figure out my boyfriend's amount that he owed me. But then here under regular bills, I have my phone. These are the ones that I am responsible for. My phone is 8615. My car insurance was 100. And then I basically pay my boyfriend back $150 for my health insurance because I get it through him. So I take that actually off of what his amount is up top. But I like to do it this way so I'm always accountable for that $150. And then this was the giveaway shipping. I did this really early in the month. I think I had it included on my budget plan. Or I might have even skipped over telling you guys, but I had it built in there. This was just for my giveaway when I gave away the book for hitting a thousand subscribers and that was $9.85. Then we have cash envelopes and since it was a really, really low month, I cut pretty much everything out except for the necessities. So $75 per paycheck for gas instead of 100, so that was $150 for the month. Medical, always 25 no matter what, so that was 50 for the month. Cats, $20 per paycheck all the time, $40 for the month. And then personal, usually I do a minimum of $50 per paycheck up to $100. But this time I did cut one of the paychecks out completely. So I only did $50 for the month. And then hair, clothing, wallet money, 
not needed, not a necessity, I can get by for a month or two. So those are all cut out and groceries and household are always covered by the church checks that my boyfriend and I split. So they automatically go to the grocery and household envelopes so I don't have to worry about it. I only fund those when I have a decent income. Finally, debt. I pay the $120 minimum payment for all of my federal loans. It spreads over the five that I have left, but I was not able to put anything towards the snowball payment, and that's because I put everything towards the medical as I showed you above. So hopefully in February, I could put some towards that because it's a little disheartening, but at least I paid off one last month and I'm only down to five. So I was only able to do the minimum, but how great is it that my minimum is only $120 nowadays instead of like $555 for my debt payments. So I was able to make that help me through the tough month. And when everything is said and done with the medical stuff, if I have a good amount extra on top of that, then hopefully I can put that towards my debt snowball. That's kind of the plan right now. So that is it for January. How did your beginning of 2019 go? I'll of course put the links up above to subscribe and another video that YouTube will suggest for you guys and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.